Hey everyone, Rick Nielsen here, thewebtrainer.com. How's everybody doing today? Well, I've got an exciting video training today. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm really stoked about going through this with you. Um, what we're going to cover today is a really cool piece of software online called Picnic, P-I-C-N-I-K.com. And this is a free, or it has a free version, uh, photo editing program online that you can edit your photos and upload them online. Now, the reason I think this is so cool is because uh, one of the biggest problems I've seen a lot of people that do blogging or you know do websites and you know they download photos they want to upload them to up to Facebook different things and or, or even if you're gonna like upload them to Craigslist or even even um, eBay is that you know your cameras take these really high resolution pictures and it's like oh, I don't want to buy Photoshop you know Photoshop's too complicated it's too expensive or they try to use some free open source type photo editor or even buying Photoshop elements or something like that they're, they're just too there's too much going on with those they're too expensive and, and people just don't use them they're just they're just too complicated and too hard to use well it looks like picnic has taken care of that for everybody because this software is so cool uh, to use Compared to other things I've tried online, this this thing has it figured out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a quick demonstration on how to use it. Now they have a paid version and they have a free version, and I think the paid version you get more options, more more uh, uh, effects that you can put on your photos, and I think you can upload instead of five photos at a time, you can upload ten photos. I believe is what it is, but um, I'm just going to going to go through and show you how to upload a photo. Um, and edit it and some of the things that you can do with it and what's really cool too about this site is that you don't even have to register for it you can just start uploading photos and or you know editing photos right out of the shoot but I recommend that you you know sign up for a, a free account because then you can store your photos there and you've got them so you can look back on them so as the big button here says let's get started so you go to picnic.com like I said it's p-i-c-n-i-k picnic Dot com and I'll have a link in the blog post here so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go here and click get started so what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up this really nice interface and if you have any trouble with this uh, you gotta make sure you have the latest uh, browsers to be able to do this I mean you can't be using some old clunky crappy uh, Internet Explorer 3 or something like that you, you need your browser updated so it gives you there's all kinds of cool things here on the front but essentially what you do is you're gonna come right here and you're gonna go upload a photo so we're gonna go here we're gonna look on my very cluttered uh, desktop and let's take this picture of my Nova that I sold and this thing's gonna start crunching now it brings it into a nice editor and as you can see I got a picture of my Nova that I sold isn't that sweet look at that nice paint job I got going there Whew, look at that that gray and green sharp Believe me, there's not enough photo editing in this thing to make that look good. Can't polish a turd. All right, so there's a lot of things that you can do here that I've, I've never seen on an online photo editing piece of software. Um, let's start by going down here. As you can see here, it's got this little zoom slider here. So you can zoom in and really look at how rusty this thing is. I mean, just look at the rust on that thing. Look at the bondo on that thing. And you can zoom in, zoom out, and... You know, so if you want to take a really good close look at the picture, you can. So let's go back up here, and you got a lot of different menu options up here. You have one-click fix it. Now, when you click that, it it takes all the elements of the of the image and it just tries to correct it and make it look sharper. Sometimes it does something, sometimes it doesn't. Now, if you didn't like what that did, if you come on over here to the other side of the screen, you can hit undo, and it will fix whatever problem that you or whatever screw up that you did. Uh, the next one you got here is you can rotate that image so you can rotate this thing left and keep going left round and round yeah no matter what direction you put this car it still looks like crap or you can go right or we can do a little you know Batman look to it zoom in and turn uh, we can flip it to make it look the other way or we can flip it upside down again car still looks bad no matter what we look at it or you can hit reset so and then what's what's really nice here too is you've got these little help boxes so if you close that but you want to see it again you just click right here and this will tell you exactly what that little thing will do that's why I think this is such a cool piece of software because it's just it just it kind of gets you right down in the nitty-gritty 
So if we come over here and go to cancel, it takes us back to our menu. Now here's the one a lot of people will either use crop or they'll use resize. So when you hit crop, what it does is it puts things into a, a grid pattern. And what this is doing here is it's telling you that, you know, you can take and, you know, shrink this or move this and do whatever you want. Say you only want that part, then you can just, you know, click OK and it gives you that particular part of the photo. So when you're doing crop, you can do just pretty much anything you want. Uh, you can take that and you can shrink that down into a specific size. So let's say you're going to get a photograph made of it. Or if you want a specific size for any of these social networks, it will crop it to an appropriate size for that particular network, which I think is just cool as can be. Um, and here you can actually scale the uh, crop that you want to do to whatever size that you want. Um, so we'll just reset everything. So there you can crop it to whatever you want. So let's say you only want a section of it and you just want to do, you know, I just want this particular part of the Nova right here. No, I, you know what? I want this little piece right here. I want to, I want to crop that baby out. I'll just click OK and see I've cropped that particular piece out. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's not going to work. So that's how you use the crop. Now the resize is probably the one most people will use. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this ginormous photo, which is 2,956 pixels wide by 1,768 pixels tall. And that's just a little big to be jamming up into uh, any, any website or on Facebook or anything like that. And I know they do a good job of resizing it. But the key to photos is getting them the size that you need before you stick them up to any social site or you're putting them on your blog or whatever it may be. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So let's say I want to bring this down to a thousand, and see you want to if you now if you do that you got to make sure you keep this key proportion uh, in proportion because what it'll do is if you put a dimension of of a thousand and you keep that clicked it'll keep everything in in perspective if you uncheck that and then you start changing the sizes to like you know, seven hundred see it skinnies it up and then I could probably put a picture of me in there I thin myself out hm, never thought of that. Um, or you could use percentages, you know, you could make it, you know, I want the photo to be 30% smaller than what it was. So I'm going to go ahead and reset that. So that, that's probably one a lot of people will use just because, you know, you take a picture and maybe you don't want to do a whole heck of a lot to it. You want to go ahead and just resize that thing down to something that's a little bit more manageable on your sites and your, especially your blog. Because when you're using your WordPress blog and you upload something, a photo to it, it takes it the size you sent it. Where places like Flickr and MySpace and YouTube are, um, um, uh, oh, what's that damn one called? Oh yeah, Facebook. They they have tools on there in that compress those photos down a little bit so that they're not so ginormous. But when you're on your blog, you're just uploading. So if you upload a 2,956 by 1,768 uh, pixel photo, that's how big it's going to be. So you'll want to crop those down before you do that. Um, exposure. And this gives you a little idea what exposure is. Here's auto exposure. It's going to try to do its own thing. Um, or you could go to exposure and you can just kind of slide these around and see. A lot of this depends on what you're going to do with the photo. So you got you got some um, um, a lot of different options to be able to mess around with it. Here you can do highlights. Um, you can do shadows. I mean, you got all kinds of options. And if you don't like that, you just hit reset and it goes back to the way it was. So that would be your exposures. Uh, and then color, so you can change the color of the of the image to something a little different, or you can pick a neutral color. So we'll reset that back to where it was before. Uh, we can come over here and do sharpen, and that's going to make the photo a little bit more crisp. Again, it just depends on what you're going to do with the photo. But you can see you got all kinds in red eye since there's absolutely nothing in there. We'll just go ahead and do that. Now, if you come over here to create, what you're going to get is you're going to come over here and it's going to move the photo over a little bit. And you're going to have all kinds of different options that you can play around with here. Um, I'm not going to go into all these in detail um, just for the sake of time, but you've got different effects. So let's say you want this photo to be black and white. All you have to do is just click that button. It turns it black and white. Now you can change a lot of aspects of, of what you're doing. Uh, I mean, this you, it's just one click and you can do it. Um, you can, you know, soften. <laughs> there isn't one to remove a crappy looking car, but, you know, hey, what do you expect out of a program like this? See, here you can get the old, you know, 1980s 
uh, senior picture look going here. Uh, so we'll cancel that. So you just have a lot of options. If you go here, you got text. So you can put text on your photo. You got stickers. You can stick stickers on this car. And believe me, there's not a <clears throat> there's not enough stickers to put on that. We could put a really cool pair of sunglasses on there. And yeah, no. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. We got to upgrade. Now, <coughs> excuse me. As you notice here, you'll see some of these have premium. That's in order to get those features, you're going to have to pay for those. Anything that does not, that means it's a freebie. And then we kind of go through here, and you got some touch-ups. Now that's a premium. All that section is premium. Uh, you got frames, advanced, and seasonal, which you can create all kinds of different things, like uh, kind of like a holiday look. Uh, we can go with uh, oh, let's make a greeting card out of this lovely hot rod of mine. And it's gonna crunch and crunch and crunch. And I this ought to be good. Let's see what we got here. Loading, loading. Let. Oh, you know what? That looks like a perfect one to send to my mom and dad for Christmas. All right, so you have plenty of options there. Now, when you're all done and you've actually got figured out what you want your photo to look like, there's numerous things that you can do with it. One thing is, is you can come in here, name it whatever you want. Here you could set the dimensions if you didn't. Uh, you would put it in the best format that you want. Now, here's a rule of thumb. If it's a photograph, make sure you save it as a JPEG. If it's a, like a drawing of some type, you know, like a, a graphic and it's not either a PNG, well, this one only gives you two options, PNG um, and GIF, but I don't believe they even do GIFs. It doesn't look like they do. And so you can save it out on your desktop. So if I wanted to save that photo, it would say, you know, where do you want to save this thing? Or you can upload it to one of your um, providers. So you can either upload it to Picasa or you can tweet it, or you can put it up to Flickr, or you can put it up to Facebook, or Photo Bucket, or you can email it to somebody, or you can print photos, and they'll send them somewhere, and you can have it turned into whatever type of thing that you want. You know, that would make a great coffee cup. I'm pretty sure that would be a great coffee cup. So, if we come back over here, so see, you have lots of different options that you can do with that. So, Again, I believe that the uh, free version, you can upload five photos at a time, um, and then the paid version, I believe, is 10. But what you want to do is you want to go up here and uh, click this button, Upgrade to Premium, and it'll tell you what, uh, what you get for those options. The other thing, too, you want to look at is I would go ahead and register and, because you can save your photos there if you want in case you want to distribute them in some other way, shape, or form. But this is an awesome program for somebody that doesn't want to buy Photoshop. They want to be able to trim up their photos, make them look nice, do fun things with them. I, I, I just, this is a fantastic program, and I'm, and I'm sorry, I'm a little giddy about this, but over the years I've been working with people on the web, the one thing they've had the most trouble with is they're trying to figure out how they can get their photos resized, and they just, they, they end up buying Photoshop. They just can't pull it off. So this is a great solution. Again, the website is Picnic, which is P-I-C-N-I-K dot com. The link is in the post. I hope this helps you guys out. Spread the word. Tell everybody about this. It's a great program. Um, again, well, that's it. Rick Nielsen here, the web trainer, and I will see you at the next video. Later.